Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Brett Pomerantz. Thanks for joining us. Our guest is Pam Clute. Pam is a professor and vice provost at UC Riverside. I am so glad you're here. You brought so many things for us to look at. We're here to talk about mathematics. As you know, I'm the father of two daughters, five and seven. I am so concerned about how they are treated in terms of learning math. Talk to me. Well, I have to tell you, mathematics is my passion and my role in life as I see it is to help young girls appreciate as well as understand and enjoy the power of mathematics. It's everywhere in their world, it's everywhere in their life, and if we can give them the self-confidence, give them the ability to do mathematics and enjoy it at the same time, I think it will serve us well as a community. Yeah, and my daughter, my eldest specifically, loves projects, art projects, and these projects right here would be so perfect for them because they would see that math will drive you and art is a part of it. Absolutely, and, and one of the keys to hooking young women into the study of mathematics is through interdisciplinary right. ideas such as uh, English and, and history and art and so forth. And these art projects around me are a branch of mathematics called computational origami. And engineers studied this particular branch and designed the airbag, which packs neatly into the steering wheel of our automobile and then activates when it's necessary for a crash accident. And I think about my daughters now who play those games that kind of flip back and forth with the numbers. And so you can really incorporate math into everyday life. Why is it, Professor, that girls are treated less than when it comes to science and math in K-12? You know, I think the, the young women certainly have the ability to do mathematics, but what they lack is the passion and the interest to do mathematics, and you have to have both to be successful. And one of the ways you create interest in anyone that is studying is through making mathematics relevant and purposeful. When I look at mathematical ideas, such Please. as this circle, I have to tell you the circle is an idea that people have learned for centuries, as is the triangle, as is the trapezoid, as is the rhombus, as is the teeny tiny triangle. But when the fat flaps are opened up, it creates a shape called the tetrahedron. And the reason this is relevant to girls or boys or anybody on the planet is this is the shape of many of the satellites that bring reception to your cell phone. And to me, if you can come up with a mathematical idea, tie it to something in life that is purposeful to your everyday living, you're gonna hook someone into this further study of that field. And you have some um, straws that you brought. I did. And show us what those are and how we can turn just a beautiful design into math science. This is actually called an icosahedron, and it is the shape of the 200 viruses that cause the common cold. And the reason shape is important is because the biochemists need to know something about shape in order to design the drugs that relieve the symptoms caused by the cold. And the mathematics, of course, is part of that design and shape. And I think so many of us think about some of the great inventors, and they just presume they're men. And you know what? They're not. They are there not. are a lot of wonderful, incredibly accomplished women who have brought us some of the great inventions of the world. List a few. Well, the one that comes to my mind is Margaret Knight, who designed the brain paper bag uh, machine that puts together these bags that we put our groceries in and take to our automobiles after we shop at the store. Madame Curie gave us radium, which is used in the treatment of cancer today. Dorothy Crowfoot uh, Hodgkin uh, discovered uh, the structure behind vitamin B12, and that led to a cure in pernicious anemia car mufflers, Kevlar, the substance used to strengthen so bulletproof many. vests, can openers, submarine telescopes, those all sprung from the minds of women. In our final moments, what would you tell a parent like myself with two young daughters that you want to make sure are treated appropriately as it relates to math science? I would say that self-confidence is the number one feature in getting kids to enjoy mathematics. So parents, be supportive of your children. Teachers, be engaging of the activities you use with your young girls to motivate them toward further study. Pam Clute, you're great. I'm so you. glad you came. Thanks I for joining us. You bet. Here. For Charters Local Edition, I'm Brad Pomerantz. Back to CNN Headline News.